brothers and sisters, I can't figure out why I was chosen to speak first. But I'll tell you this. The AFC has a lot of firsts. We, in a simple sense, are a reactive group. We have no track record. So I was a little amazed last Thursday when I heard an individual, very prominent individual, the chairman for Region 6, say that we, the AFC, the C in AFC stands for corruption. It speaks a lot, my dear brothers and sisters, and that is why I said there's a lot of first. It speaks a lot about the opposition that the AFC has. They have nothing to condemn us for. Nothing to criticize the AFC for. Because we have no track record. Can we say the same about the PPP? Can we say the same about the PNC? My job tonight, well, it's evening. My job here is not to tell you who's bad and who's good. I want to tell you about myself. I'm sorry that we don't have a larger crowd, but you know what? When I was in Trinidad Law School, we were then 42 Guyanese, and the Trinidadians were close to 300. One Trinidadian girl who was the representative for the first year student ran against me. And I won the election. I was president for the law school in Trinidad. I won by five godly votes. Given that we were just 42, and they being 280 somebody, the odds were great. So at that stage, I thought everyone counts. Every vote makes a difference. And even if we have 10 of you, and we are guaranteed that the 10 will vote AFC. That will be 10 votes more than we had before we spoke to you. I joined the AFC. I was never a politician before. When I was in the University of Ghana studying law, I was student president there. And I overheard one of the lecturers telling the then uh, Vice Chancellor James Rose who you know is a PVP parliamentarian, that one of our boys won the election. I was never one of the boys. I was never a PVP member. So when I announced a few weeks ago on that program that I would join the AFC, a lot of heads were shaken up a bit. A lot of people started shouting, and I don't know why, except that they took me for granted. And now that they're saying I'm not part of the PVP team, they see, and the Minister of Government told me, Charon, you're the only real threat we have in Barbies. I said, I'm just one of the real threats you have. You sit and watch what will happen. I am not advocating anything that would be negative. I am not even a politician. What am I doing here? I'm a practical person. I am logically looking at what we are faced with and trying to find ways to deal with it. And so I figured it this way. We see some policemen who are offering us protection and helping to keep things in order. Every one of the policemen will tell you, that he or she is underpaid. Now the policeman who is doing a job is underpaid. What does he have to do to get money? You can't feed a family of $26,000. Yet they risk their lives for us. You can't blame the policeman for being creative. <laughs> you cannot blame the man for being creative. They have to find ways to support the family. A simple thing. 
increase the salary of the police so they can go out there with more zeal and enthusiasm. They will go out there with a purpose and they will feel good about doing it. I honestly believe some of them feel that they're forced to do this, being in the police force, because there is no job. We're talking about this. Today, a young lady came to my office and said, she's looking for a job if I know of anything or anybody who can help her out. I wonder how many of you know of a young person who's looking for a job and can't find one. Job creation will be one of my, or is, one of my foremost items on the agenda. And I'll tell you why. We need jobs so that we can maintain ourselves and families. I will not only tell you that, I will show you how we can get jobs. Most of our beasts is described as the sugar belt. We depend particularly on agriculture in this region. There is an abundance of market for dried fruits. Sit down and think into this, my dear brothers and sisters. Let us not listen to who say who did what and who didn't do what. I'll tell you about that in a second. If we have a simple thing as a processing plant to dry fruits, dry banana, dry mango, dry pineapple, dry... Dry squash. My friend said squash. Banana, pineapple, mango, you know that whatever you produce in those areas, even your third crop, finest three crops, right? The big one, then the little one, the middle one, and then the one that looks like a ball. They don't have to go off. Papaya is another crop that goes off sour and, and it, it falls quite easily. But if you can dry these fruits, I don't have to tell you, Guyana has some of the tastiest fruits in the world. There is an abundance of market for dried fruits. If you know that all your papaya that you have will not turn rotten on you, and look at the markets, you know what I'm talking about. You will plant more papaya. You will open your pine, your yard and plant more pine. Even in the backyard you got 10 or 12 papaya trees. You will make some money. That will create the spin-off effect. The fact you will have to, you will have to employ more people to plant. Those of us who can't um, work in offices will go in the fields. You have employment. But then the factories will require, will require that you employ more personnel. This enough effect will be your marketing people. I don't have to tell you more. That is just one area that can be looked at very seriously in Barbies. My dear brothers and sisters, I'll tell you very quickly that I joined the AFC because I see as I've seen years ago, a dire need for change in this country. And if we do not believe that we can make the difference, or if we did not believe that, personally, if I didn't think the AFC was capable enough, I would not have joined the AFC. I will leave you because this is perhaps, this is our first meeting, this is perhaps you can describe it as an introductory meeting. So I'll tell you very quickly. They talk about this party is not a racial party, the, the PPP. You ever see a black man lead the PPP? You think that will ever happen? And the PNC is not a racial party. But you ever see an Indian man leading the PNC? I'll tell you that will never happen. The AFC has no track record that you can doubt. As a matter of fact, the one track record we have is in the first term, there was a black man as the leader. Now we have an Indian man as the leader. We believe that this is not about race. This is about the Guyanese people wanting a change. And we are offering that change. My dear brothers and sisters, all I'm asking is that you listen to us anytime, every time. And just open your mind. To open your mind. The PPP die hard, the PLC die hard. Open your mind to a change. The need for change. My other comrades, brothers and sisters, and we have um, the Prime Minister of Canada, so they will address certain issues that I want you to focus on. Right now, focus on the word change. Let us look for and help to bring about change. I thank you very much, and we look forward to seeing you again here in Ferguson, because we will be here.
We will be all over this place. So you will never ever lose sight of us. Thank you very much.